Here is your latest end time news from tradcatnight.blogspot.com. My good friends get to tradcatnight on a daily basis. We are the number one ranked traditional Catholic website in the world and now top 20,000 website overall in the world. And I'm keeping you up to date on all of the latest end time news and church apostasy news as we head closer to the fruition of the third secret of Fatima, the formalized one world religion in Rome. And also, of course, Planet X's incoming and the material chastisements thereof. Now, for this particular segment, I have for you, within the realm of war on terror, we are seeing all these terrorist, quote-unquote terrorist, events happening all over the world. And, of course, we knew this was going to get worse. Um, 2017 is going to be far worse than 2016. They have to amp up uh, this area of the New World Order agenda in order to implement more of the police state in order to implement more of the draconian laws, <clears throat> in order to take away more of our freedoms. But two separate articles here, one coming first uh, from the AP, U.S. cities on high alert uh, over the Christmas season due to these terrorist event events. Now, in the wake of the Berlin truck attack, police departments around the U.S. are making a show of force. That's what I've been telling you after... Every terror event, more boots on the ground, more of these <coughs> trucks and different types of weaponry that they have. They want to normalize the police state in the end. That is the agenda. Now, getting back to the article, in New York City police dispatched heavily armed counterterrorism officers to stand guard at crowded pop-up Christmas markets in Union Square, Bryant Park, and Columbus Circle. Uh, only an hour after news broke Tuesday about the carnage in Berlin, where a stolen truck slammed into a crowd and killed 12 people. I haven't investigated it uh, thoroughly, folks, to know whether it was a, a false flag or not. I've been thoroughly sick. I'll get uh, to that a little bit more here at the end of this talk. However, again, we're, we're seeing terrorist events on the other side of the world, and they're affecting us. And so we have to know that this is the, the globalist plan in order to boil us as frogs, to implement more of this uh, police state. Um, and in a subsequent article, a secondary article coming from the Express UK, travel expert issues a warning for European Christmas market. So also in Europe, we have Brits heading across the channel pre-Christmas have been warned uh, of the same terror alert level. Travel expert Frank Brenny, consumer director of Holiday Travel Watch, said pre-Christmas breaks to European Christmas markets are popular with British holiday makers, and I hope lessons have been learned and destinations are often offering zoning protection for their visitors. Instead of simply offering the mantra that we must not give into terror, <coughs> consumers want to hear very clearly of the steps being taken to protect their safety. Of course they want to hear that. I would suggest the solutions of years past may not be able to uh, might not be up to the task, excuse me, and therefore the authorities in whichever country and whatever area they travel will have to make radical and overt steps to demonstrate security, not only to raise consumer confidence, uh, but also to bring back uh, confidence to a damaged industry. Okay, so now we're equating uh, confidence with more of the police state. I mean, this is just complete stupidity if you're going to fall for that, folks. Again, they want to fear monger. They want you to think that we need more of a police state. They want you to think that they are the protectors of the universe. And just wait till Betray and his Ascended Master show up onto the scene with all of the wonderful uh, solutions to mankind's problems. And much like a crab is lured into the crab cage uh, via the chicken, that's what's happening here. Uh, so don't buy into the propaganda. Don't shut down your life. Continue to live. Uh, be aware of your surroundings, of course. Be prudent, uh, but certainly don't buy into the propaganda. Now, as I mentioned uh, a few minutes ago, I've been thoroughly sick for about the past week. I wanted to put this video out here tonight, though, so you all know that uh, I still am making videos, and as soon as I get uh, better, I'll be getting back to more uh, regular breaking news segments. But then also the special guest radio shows, I've had to cancel my last few because I just... I simply can't get to it. My throat's been really bad, some kind of upper respiratory uh, situation. So continue to keep me in prayer. Thank you for all the wonderful 
uh, messages. I'll keep it short and, and, and sweet here, but make sure you subscribe to Trad Cat Night for all the latest news and information videos and special guest radio shows along the right hand side of tradcatnight.blogspot.com uh, is a plethora of information make sure you're getting into the daily news uh, feed the poll question there's one up every quarter blog archive uh, as meant as i mentioned continue to keep me in prayer uh need to make a final push here got a project i got lined up and need about 250 dollars or so to get this program rolling uh, by Christmas or roundabout thereof. So I still I need a final push here before the end of uh, the year. I'll be putting out a January summary uh, just in general to kind of demonstrate, you know, how our Lord and Lady are standing behind this work um, as we continue to grow to present more opportunities uh, for me to speak. Hopefully my throat will clear up, but I did have an intent uh, a plan January and February to get back out there and start doing more uh, interviews abroad. So I'll keep you posted on that. The sister site to Trad Cat Night is tradcatnight.org. If you have news tips, articles, uh, videos, blogs of your own, send them to me at apostle of Mary at hotmail.com. And I failed to mention uh, you can donate two ways via the PayPal button. And I appreciate those who, who do it that route on the 20th of every month. And actually, I'll probably be doing this uh, tonight or maybe tomorrow. But sending out a uh, you know a thank you message, personalized thank you message to all those who have donated that route. But I want to personally thank those who are sending in the card, sending in the the cash check and money orders. Uh, I want you to know that you're all in my prayers. I say an extra decade uh, of the rosary for you with your intentions, and uh, your cards are very uplifting. Got several more today, and uh, really appreciate them. Just wanted to let you. Uh, know that um, and so my good friends uh, that's about all I have on my end again look for uh, more of these breaking uh, news segments to come about I'm hoping uh, maybe over the next two to three days but certainly after Christmas we should uh, be back to normal but I appreciate you all until next time stay safe and God bless <laughs>